Red flag warning remains for most of East Idaho right now. Of course, this is due to higher than usual fire risk. And the main components to that, lightning and gusty winds from thunderstorms. The good news, though, is I wouldn't be surprised if the National Weather Service allows this to expire at 10 or perhaps even cancel it before then because our thunderstorms are putting down quite a bit of rain now. Uh, you saw the weather windows we showed you just a couple of minutes ago, one specifically over Georgetown Summit. That storm cell is weakening quite a bit. It will track into uh, southwestern Wyoming. And then we got showers that have dissipated quite a bit around Idaho Falls, just to the northeast of there. Watching this area over the central mountains, this could pour into the upper Snake River Plain later this evening. So we're not out of the woods yet. We could see more showers and thunderstorms pop up around Pocatello, Idaho Falls this evening. But late tonight, all this should be put to rest. We have an area of low pressure that's brought in another round of monsoonal moisture in from the south. And that low is churning right over East Idaho and will continue to pivot slowly towards the east northeast overnight. So that will shut off a lot of this monsoonal moisture, take most of it with it, leaving just some residual moisture along the mountains, especially along the Idaho Montana border. So for a lot of us, we'll have a sunny and warmer Wednesday for sure. So the forecast tonight, still the threat of rain showers and thunderstorms this evening, certainly cooler than last night. We were in the 60s in both Pocatello and Idaho Falls last night. Well, tonight, lower to mid 50s, so we're down a few degrees. Showers and thunderstorms will be uh, hit and miss, and that will continue this evening for the central portion of the state. Low temperatures, mid 40s into the mid 50s. Arco, you're looking at about 54. Hit and miss showers and thunderstorms in the upper highlands and western Wyoming this evening, so we're not done yet. We're not done yet for a lot of us. 43 will be the low in Afton. 10 degrees warmer overnight in Dubois at 53 there. And then for the southeast corner, hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this evening, and then things clear out later on with low temperatures dropping down to about 47 Montpelier. That's a little bit on the cooler side than it was last night. And then we got a partly sunny day tomorrow. That extra sunshine, dry air means temperatures will have a chance to heat up. We'll hit 90 in Malad City tomorrow, so that's certainly heating up. There is that chance for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, some stormy weather later in the day, but we'll start the day off with lots of sunshine. Comfortable high of 75 at Island Park. Warmer, though, for the central mountains, but we, too, could see some showers and thunderstorms. Uh, salmon will hit 87 before those clouds really start to build. And for the Snake River Plain, we'll just see mainly sunny and storm free, almost 90 at Pocatello, 86 in Little Falls, and it will get hot around here. Hottest temperatures we've seen so far this summer. Look at Friday. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven day forecast has this almost 100 in Pocatello. And we'll keep that hot stuff all the way through the weekend. With more sunshine, we know what to do with, especially Sunday into Monday. I don't fall seven day forecast. We're going to want that shade on Friday. Shade in the afternoon will top out at 97. We are still in the mid 90s for the weekend. So starting tomorrow, we are dry and hot for seven days in a row at least. Teton area, we could see some storminess on Friday, but a very warm weekend with highs in the upper 80s, almost 90 on Monday. You saw that, right? And for the Central Mountains, still that threat of storminess tomorrow. And then we got 90s galore. Hottest day coming up will be Saturday. We'll top out at 97 degrees.